Uh, I'm, my name is Abram Karpas. I've been in Cambridge uh, in the Department of Hematology as an assistant director of research since 1969. And in 1983, I, when AIDS became a, a problem, I also started looking for the virus and I was the, probably the first in the UK to isolate the virus, which subsequently was called HIV for human immune deficiency virus. The problem in Africa is that uh, by the time HIV was discovered, which is about just about 25 years ago, uh, there were far more people infected with the virus in Africa than in the UK because the virus originated from Africa. And it took quite some time, I suspect it took over 20 years from the time the virus started spread, spreading in between humans in an extensive way in Africa and the time that it was uh, discovered in the West, namely in France first. And so as a result, by the time the virus was discovered, there were probably already millions of Africans who were already infected with the virus, while in the UK, number was far smaller. It is estimated at the moment, uh, probably at the time being, uh, over 40 million people around the world are infected with the virus. This is, I think, a conservative estimate. And you have to remember that by now, probably 25 million already died, 25 to 30 million already died of it. So unfortunately, there is no decrease in the number. There is an increase in some countries, even in this country, there is an increase in infection. But in some countries, like the European countries, uh, North American countries, the increase is slower, while in Africa, unfortunately, the increase is, uh, is far steeper. Well, of course, it's complete nonsense. It's like, uh, like it is valid as uh, in the early days, since AIDS, AIDS started, uh, already became known, widely known, in the early 80s, while the Soviet Union still in existence, the, the communist leaders in, in, in Russia, some of them tried to claim that AIDS is a capitalistic disease. 